Risha Paytas is the last person in the entire world that should be mothering a child. So normally I wouldn't respond to like hate, you know, everyone's pretty much entitled to their opinion, but something like this just rubs me the wrong way for a lot of reasons. Imagine being at your lowest, right? I have a history of abusing prescription pills and using illicit drugs. I have a history of mental illness that went untreated for a long time, partially because of me. Yes, I went to three mental hospitals because of all of the above. That was my rock bottom that I needed to get clean. Going through there, I became again addicted to prescription pills and I didn't get clean completely until December 2020. I've been in active therapy that's been working for my mental illness for the past year and haven't exhibited any of this behavior that happened to me at my lowest. I had already been changing, but the day I found out I was pregnant, whole new person. And on that note, so many people have sent me their stories about how they were, you know, abusing alcohol, addicted to drugs, all this stuff. And um, the day they found out they were going to be a parent completely changed. I always say actions speak louder than words. So everyone's like, oh, she has a breakdown every single day. It's like I haven't in a very long time. I've disengaged from drama for almost a year but more importantly my sobriety i've been sober since december 2020 i've been in active treatment since 2021 and it, it's working to like sit there and criticize another person's reproductive choices just feels ick to me i've prayed for this for so long and god has finally blessed me and i just now more than ever will keep on the good path but this kind of video already incites hate on an unborn child for absolutely no reason she made a joke at the end of it saying she shouldn't be a mother either and that's fine if she deems herself unfit but i know i'm gonna be an amazing i'm not gonna lie like it does hurt i mean i should just block this and move on because i am like just so happy right now and i don't know it does kind of hurt <laughs> i guess it just sucks because the whole point of cancel culture is we want you to change we want you to be better and then as soon as someone changes and starts to better themselves like oh no no no, not you you're gonna always be awful you're gonna always be held at a place where you were at your lowest and your ugliest we cancel people to want people to change and as soon as people change people don't allow it they want us to be stuck in that little hole i'm married i'm in a stable relationship like we tried for this child we went to fertility for this child we have the financial means the the love the care the want the desire or both this is all we've ever wanted we're both able to care for the child full time and now by posting this i know a lot of people are like oh it's riling her up it's getting to her let's keep poking which is like gross in its own right but i don't know i was scrolling i'm a human i have feelings too i just want to and then i'm gonna go back downstairs and watch desperate housewives is i actually feel bad for these people that's not you know patronizing or anything like i feel bad because these are people who actually are kind of hate their own lives probably going through something in their own lives and how do i know this is because i was that person as we all know for probably a decade on the internet i hated and judged other people and criticized other people because i was so unhappy because Bottom line is happy people don't really criticize other people. They just don't. Like me and my unborn child have literally zero effect on anyone else. I share my journey for people who have struggled with fertility issues and people who are happy for me. But the people who like say nasty things like this, like I know they're going through it for real. But really think about it. If you have your own life and your own thing going and you're doing good, like you're not hating on people online. I hate it on people online because I have nothing else going for me. I was trying to get attention, I was trying to get something because I was miserable.